what's up guys the rifts just got released and i'm here to show you all the waves and give you some tips on the way this is by far my longest video and i will try to talk a little bit about the waves if you're new to this channel give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future so let's get started first of all you want to make sure that your characters are really good equipped in this case i'm using the nebula killer ring which is actually a ring you can use in world 4 if you are playing this game for a couple of months you would have been able to buy these rings from the gem shops you can only buy two so make sure to use them on your strongest characters so far we have unlocked a couple of artifacts the trap box vacuum which is for trapping the infinite stars which activates your star signs we have the skill mastery tree which is really awesome and we're gonna have to work on this one because by leveling all your skills on all your characters you will get massive bonuses so this is gonna be like end game stuff so make sure to level up this one to get it the eclipse calls is just a bonus when you get a lot of skills and you have the stamp mastery which will give you chances to get gilded stamps the more levels you have in your stamps the elrich artifact makes you able to unlock the third artifact level and the file mastery will help you give you bonuses on all the files that you have with a crown so these artifacts are pretty awesome so let's get started with the first one you will have to start the quest by going to the octodars there you will find the NPC which will request you a couple of items. The items are pretty easy to get so you can just go get them in your bank or you can use time candies to get them faster. Once you do the quest you will automatically be inside the rift area. As you can see none of the artifacts have been activated so you will have to unlock them all one by one. Start your first wave, you, all you have to do is go to the right to the rift part and it will show you your first assignment. First assignment is just kill 500 monsters within 5 minutes. This is pretty easy to do, you can just use one of your best characters and farm it. For the purpose of the video I have just cut all the parts in the middle to make it a little bit faster as this, long, as this video is pretty long. We have arrived at the wave of rift number two. For the second wave, we have to collect three rift tiers. The three rift tiers are basically rare drop items from the monsters. So you can use better your Bubo as he can actually spawn more monsters and give you more chances to get more tiers at the same time. This took me roughly five minutes. Pretty fast we were at the third rift. All you have to do is defeat all the monsters that spawn on your screen within 5 minutes with 3 characters. The next one is pretty straightforward. Defeat 500 monsters within 5 minutes. You can do that with your booboo or with any other character that can spawn a lot of monsters really fast. The next one is defeating the mega monsters that can heal themselves. They don't really have much HP for my level, so I was basically able to one hit them. All you have to do is kill the giant monsters with your 5 characters, so you will be have to switch a lot of characters every time. I put all my characters at one point on the rift all at the same time to start getting some AFK kills as you will need them also to unlock future rifts. Once we arrive to the rift 6, we unlock the first trophy. The trophy is the trap box vacuum. This will automatically gather all your critters every day, once a day, so probably at the start of the day. So this is pretty handy if you don't want to go clicking all your traps every day. The next one is get 1000 skull points. I used my berserker for this one but at later stages I realized that Bubu is actually better because he can spawn more monsters and it will go way quicker. So you might as well use, use your Bubu. Next one is that we have to defeat the mega monsters which can heal themselves on 5 characters. This is also pretty easy as the first waves have really low HP. On Rift 8 you have to use your Divine Knight to get 180 points. 
make sure that you can increase the timer for your divine knight in order to get higher scores With 9, you will need to use your Elemental Sorcerer. He needs to get a score of 60, and this is really, really easy. On Rift 10, you will need to get 200,000 monster skills AFK. For this one the best thing you can do is put all your characters or at least five or six of them into the rifts they can also get the points from afk hours so you might as well just go do something with your other characters and come back after a couple of minutes or hours depending on how high your kills are to get these afk kills once you reach once you arrive to Rift 11, you will unlock the infinite stars. The infinite stars will give you infinite star signs which have a special loop and they neglect the negative effects on the star signs. The more shiny critters you have, the more star signs you will get. The remainder rifts are basically almost the same but the monsters get bigger hp and sometimes the score is a little bit higher so you can check out the rest of the video if you want i will be giving some commentary again when you have to get the skull lavas Once you get to Rift 16, you will unlock the Skill Mastery. The Skill Mastery is an awesome upgrade because the more levels you have on your totals for all your characters, the better the skills and the effect that you will get. You will be getting from percentage damage, XP, efficiency, and even passive cards. So this is a really, really great upgrade. Once you arrive to Rift 17, you will get your first Lava Skull Kills. I tried to figure out how this actually works and I think I got the hang of it. 
It appears that you need to kill the skull lavas and always have some mobs on your map. If you defeat all your monsters, you will have less lava skulls and it will like reset. So make sure that you try to do this manually instead of doing it on auto. And every time that you get a higher level skull, try to kill it immediately to get another skull. This worked for me, but I'm not sure if these are the dynamics. Let me know if it works for you.
so we arrived to Rift 36. After Rift 36, I wasn't able to continue because the HP of the monsters are really high. I also saw on the Discord that Rift 41 hasn't been implemented yet, so there is no point on unlocking the remaining rifts to get the last artifact in the game. For that we will need to get stronger and try to push harder to get more DPS in order to complete this. Guys if you made it this far to this video, thanks for watching, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one.